good day. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. We are back with our Z Blaze GTS3 Pro smartwatch, and this time we are going to pair it, okay, set it up with its support app. So it is using the Fit Cloud support app, okay, let me check it again. So here it says it is using the Fit Cloud Pro application that is available in App Store, Google Play, and we have here Baidu Assistant download. Anyways, we are going to set it up on the Android smartphone. So if you have any questions regarding the setup of our Z Blaze GTS3 Pro, especially the fit cloud pro application just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries we do have that time okay let's start we have here our smartwatch i guess we still have enough battery life here as you can see so we have here the user manual the qr code is available here i think the qr code is also available here in the smartwatch Okay, so we have here the QR code, scan code pairing, okay. Anyways, we already, okay, familiar with the application. We know the name of the application. So let's search it, Fit Cloud Pro. So we have it here, okay. So we have 5 million plus downloads in Google Play alone. So let's try and install the Fit Cloud Pro and connect it with our Z, Z Blaze GTS3 Pro smartwatch. Okay, so tap on install and let's wait for the application to download and it will automatically install the app on our smartphone. Okay, so let's wait. We have here, we are almost 25%, 28 okay we are almost finished downloading and it's already installing the fit cloud pro application so it's already installed that's very fast so let's try and open the app again this is on the android platform so we have here so some privacy policy okay so agree then it's asking you to create an account in our case, we'll just go directly. Okay, anyways, we are not going to store our data for the Fit Cloud Pro. We are just going to check and see if we can pair this smartwatch with the Fit Cloud Pro application. Okay, use without account. We have here, so let's set it up. Fit Cloud Pro, Fit Cloud Pro 2. Okay, just random names and info here okay okay then tap on next so we have here go step tap on next following permissions are required do you want to request for the next step okay so we have here allow fit cloud pro to find connect to and determine the relative position we'll allow it and Bluetooth is disabled, it is asking to turn it on. Turn on, allow. Turning on Bluetooth, as you can see here, it's already activated. And it's looking for our smartwatch and we have it here, the GTS3 Pro smartwatch. So let's see, is this our smartwatch? Let's verify. System info and we have it here, the same MAC address, okay. So we have the same MAC address here. Next, connect. Okay, so it is asking to pair. Agree to the phone binding request. Check. Okay, so bind success as you can see here. And binding success. So Bluetooth pairing request, pair. Are we connected? Allow access to contacts, another permission. If you're not comfortable with the access to your contacts and history, you can deny it. But if you like to use the Bluetooth functionality of the Z Blaze GTS Pro, tap allow. OK, 
Okay, let's check device and we are connected here. Manage audio Bluetooth. We'll check it later. Okay, so we are now connected. Okay, let's have the preliminary setup for the smartwatch. Let's go with the push notifications. So show message only when phone is off. Okay, we like this. Enable all reminder. We'll just pick call alert. Following permissions are required. Do you want to request for the next steps? We have here call logs, phone, contacts, and SMS. Okay, we will agree to all of this. So Fit Cloud Pro to access your phone, call logs, allow. Allow Fit Cloud Pro to access your contacts. Allow Fit Cloud Pro to make and manage phone calls. And allow Fit Cloud Pro to send and view SMS messages. Okay, so we will activate it. Okay, then let's have the apps here. We will pick. Okay, WhatsApp application. Activate the notification access. Allow. Go back. Then let's pick. Okay, as you can see here, it's already activated without any issues. Instagram and more reminders here let's see i don't know if we they it will show some list of applications installed in our smartwatch or smartphone okay do we have it here we have calculator seems like it's just the settings of our smartphone let's see if we have some apps here Yes, we do have, but still have to look for it. Line. Okay, Viber. Let's see if we have it here. It's on the bottom part. We have it here. Okay. Telegram. Messenger. Also have Messenger here. Activate. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, go back. Then let's see if we have the settings for the time. So our 12 hour format time. We'll pick this one to be specific. Frequent contacts if you want to add contacts for the Bluetooth call. But so far everything is okay. The basic setup is okay. And that's it. We have successfully installed the Fit Cloud Pro application in Parrot with our GTS 3 Pro smartwatch. So if you have any questions regarding the setup, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your requires if we do have that time. So far as you can see here, we don't have any issues at all. Very smooth installation and pairing of our Z Blaze GTS 3 Pro smartwatch with the supporter. Bye.